Hi folks, we are in Lexington, North Carolina at a really cool store. It's Blake's Toy Chest. And if you want some cool toys, you come to Blake's. If you want some really cool vintage toys, you come to Blake's. So, let's go. <music> And here's the front of the store, Blake's Toy Chest. Looks like it's their third anniversary and they are open from 11 to 8, Fridays and Saturdays, 11 to 5 during the week. So, there's a cool, check that cool Star Wars vintage figure display on the main window. Very cool. So, we have to go in the back. <laughs> this is the front. And here's the back door to Blake's Toy Chest. Let's go inside. So what I thought I'd do is start in the back of the toy store. I'm telling you, he's just got a huge amount of toys here. Blake is awesome. He's got a second store in Asheboro. I'll have that information for you in the description. Description, here's his legend. So a lot of his superhero, this is kind of the superhero room of all his toys. You got your legends, you got your DC. McFarlane, check all these out. You've got your open uh, figures here, individually packaged. He's got some comics as well. If you look on, make sure you don't miss the top shelf too. So he's got things up there that you'd definitely be interested in. Oh man, I mean, it's just awesome all through here. Yep, he's got the uh, Legends helmet. Check all these out. He's got some opens down here. And again, vintage Superman pinball. Oh, wow. Get that old plushie, Superman plushie for 80. Look carefully at each of these shelves. We'll go out here. You get your Barbie. So he does cover Barbie for the girls. Check it out. You get the Bionic Woman here, Lindsay Wagner. And. Wizard of Oz, Strawberry Shortcake, lots of vintage stuff just kind of spread out. So you've got to look and look. He's got pops. So if you're looking for that specific pop, this is cool. Check out that Toys R Us. Uh, Starfire, which we do not have Toys R Us here anymore, which sucks. But we have these stores, which is awesome. Um, again, we're in Lexington, North Carolina. He's got Matchbox, he's got Hot Wheels, he's got Transformers. Look at all these Transformers. Fireball Island. It's like a game there. It's that three-dimensional game. I think I vaguely remember that. It from the pit. Man, look at all these Transformers. You got new and old. So you've got to, like I said, he's got them individually packaged on the open ones. You got some of these cars down here. He's got die-cast cars. Over here, we got more vintage Transformer still in the box. Some of the newer ones. And I will definitely walk away with something while I'm here for sure. Legos, dinosaurs, more Transformers. That gargoyle of the city. Check him out. That's pretty wild. Got these, it looks like kind of a knockoff Power Ranger. They're called uh aircraft warriors <laughs> okay you get some of the hellboy 200 bucks for him that's abe and there's that murdering nazi so <laughs> check all these out more transformers got the evil knievel dragster that's neat i did have that you got the hello kitty one of the older figures and if you look carefully too, he's got little boxes of vintage stuff too. Got some stuff in the case. Looks like he sold a bunch of stuff too. So you got Pinhead over here. It greets you as you enter the back side. Wow, check this Paul Stanley out. That's pretty cool, Paul. 
um, he definitely needs to get that hair looked at. So, and in here, this is Star Wars and some wrestling figures. So you've got the elites, you've got the old jacks on the wall over here. These jacks are awesome. That's my main collection is jacks. And then over here, you get the black series. You got some of the older figures here from the Clone Wars. You've got these here from the original, the prequel. Wow, it's got Yoda, Standy. It's got some of the old ships. Love those. That's actually one of my one of my favorite clone ships there. And but up here, oh, some of this stuff up here doesn't sell. They're nice to look at, but not for sale. So he's got a lot of vintage stuff here. Very cool. Everything's for sale. Never know. You can ask him. See what he says. Got these figures here. More Star Wars over here. Oh wow, look at him. Hawk. Clone pilot. That's a cool figure. Got your old Vader carry case for all your figures. You got some of your Power of the Force figures here. And more Star Wars up here. And more of the Black Series figures down here. So you've got a nice array. You've got some of your DC here. There's Blake here. Putting hey, some stock up. And it's awesome. I'm just, just bragging about your inventory. It's amazing. You just you. you're gonna find something here. You know, there's always something that somebody comes in here. I don't care what age you are, from 10 to 80, you're gonna find something for sure. I just I love your now these up here it says not for sale, but come on. Would somebody say, hey, if you take this, would you take that, Bryce? In here, probably not. No. But uh, a lot of that stuff's a little bit of sentimental. But I got stuff over right. there that's in my personal collection. For the right price, I'd sell it. Okay. Yep. All right. So there you go, folks. Here you heard from Blake's mouth. So we're kind of going through these figures. I mean, he's got just an allotment of figures here. Jax and Mattel. And like I said earlier, I'm a... There's, yeah, wow. I love the uh, Anvil Nightheart with his coat. He's 55. Got Slick Rick all dressed up. And he's also got Bret Hart. Part of that set, so they're separate. Man, just an awesome collection of a lot of the Jax classic figures all through there. And like I said, um, I'll find something for sure. So Blake does a great job of organizing the toys in other words you saw the wrestling in star wars you saw the marvel in dc this here is kind of his horror and movie section like puppet master um you've got mortal Kombat, predator back to the future the golden girls mortal Kombat, alien beetlejuice which i love this piece right here that's pretty awesome get your mother alien there this frank that's pretty cool is it, is it bank yeah so he lights up that is pretty neat um you've got an alien predator here too bob ross game of thrones gremlins lord of the rings so you have a little bit of everything all together i gotta show you this awesome predator set now if you're in a predator he just picked up this amazing collection of predators He's got like every single one. They vary in prices, but he's also getting an alien collection soon. Check these guys out. Just all predators. Every type, every paint scheme, every variation of predator. One of the coolest creatures in movie history. And I wanted to show you this wall here of vintage gi joe vehicles and figures some are new of course like these here um the classic series so um but then you go along here check all these vehicles out along this wall you've also got some of the older gi joes at the bottom check that out with some of the uniforms accessories that was a gi joe that i had growing up but these vehicles are incredible this selection here Go over here, kind of extends over here. 
got some cool Ghostbusters. You got the old Shogun Warrior figure up there. And then you go over here, get some com more comics, some vintage comics. Then you get Ninja Turtles over here. You got some of the bigger ones here. You got Raphael, Leonardo, Michelangelo, but no, I don't see Donatello. Donatello is pretty, pretty popular. So, yeah, look at all these vintage guys here. And you got some of the two packs up here that you can usually get at Target and and Walmart, but some of these you can't find anymore. These are very cool, or they're just always gone when you get there. One of those stores. So this is the front here when you walk in. And if you look in the back shelf there, all the vintage toys. I think those are Blake's. That's some of his private collection. And he'll talk to you if you're interested in any of his pieces there. Check all this out. And right now he's going through a bunch of stuff that he just purchased from a collector. He sold a bunch of his stuff to Blake. And he's slowly organizing that. And there's a bunch of He-Man vintage up here as well on their little packages with all their accessories so much to look at you really gotta go through everything because you can easily easily miss something well i had to show you what i picked up at blake's toy chest if you remember that frankenstein you saw yeah I had to get old frankie he's pretty cool he lights up blinks it's pretty cool Getting ready for Halloween, might as well do a vintage uh, plastic head of uh, Frankie. Then I had to pick up Hillbilly Jim. It's an old Jack's uh, figure of him, and it's just rare to find him with the overalls and his hat. So, yeah, I had to get old Hillbilly Jim. And last but not least, out of the $3 bin at uh, Blake's toy chest i got this undertaker I've, I've already got other plans for him for another figure we're gonna do a conversion and uh should be pretty cool but yeah picked up undertaker he's a cool looking figure though so that was our little tour of blake's toy chest and i'll have more information on his other location It'll, it's in ashboro and uh, i'll have that also in the description you can check it out. It doesn't go by Blake's toy chest, but I'll have it in the description, like I said. So, all right, guys. Appreciate you joining me today on this little adventure at this awesome toy store. Be sure to check it out. And please like, subscribe, and suggest. We'll do some more stuff going on in North Carolina. We'll visit some more small shops like this, antique stores, and also towns so you can see what's going on. And uh, But I do appreciate it. So... Check out some other uh, vlogs that I have up, and I'll have some at the end of this uh, video. You guys take care. We'll talk to you soon. Bye-bye.